question number eight. How would you simplify the ratio of factoids? So what is a factorial? Let's just um, quickly recap. So question A. Factorial is nothing but the product of the number itself with all the numbers from that number leading up to one. So basically, a factorial for a number n would be equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way up to we get to the number 1. Okay, so just to give you an example. So for example, 4 factorial would be equal to 4 times 4 minus 1, 3 times 4 minus 2, 2 times 4 minus 3, 1. Okay, so this is basically equal to 24. Alright, so with that in mind, the question I was asking for uh, a simplification for this factorial. So we would say that n plus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial is equals to uh, n plus 1 factorial could be written as nothing but n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus 1 which is n multiplied by n plus 1 minus 2 which is nothing but n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to 1. Okay, and on the denominator, let's keep, let's not simplify it, let's just keep it as n minus 1 factorial. So now, if you pay attention on the numerator, you have a few terms which look very similar to what would be um, said to be the factorial of n minus 1. The factorial of n minus 1 will be n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by all the numbers up to 1. Therefore, we can say that this is nothing but n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so all these terms here cancel out with the term in the denominator. Therefore, the right hand side becomes nothing but equal to n plus 1 times n. So essentially the key takeaway from this question is if you have a factorial of a number n and if you have a factorial of a smaller number divided by it, um, you can get rid of a lot of the numbers. So just a quick example. So if I have let's say factorial of 6 divided by factorial of 4, we can say this is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. And then this would go away with this and we would be left with 30. So it's easier to calculate it this way if you have a bigger numbers factorial divided by a smaller numbers factorial. Okay. Or it's equal to n squared plus n, which is the same thing. Okay. So this solution is correct in this case.